In 2003, one in four Oklahomans used tobacco, and the Tobacco Settlement Endowment Trust Board wanted to help people quit with real, tangible quit resources from the Oklahoma Tobacco Helpline. We chose programs that we thought could get the most bang for the buck. And one of the first was the quit line, or helpline as it's called now, which could have statewide impact, would give people an opportunity to call in and get a counselor and help them stop. Driven by a commitment to reach every corner of the state, the helpline offered judgment-free support to thousands of Oklahomans with a goal to help every neighbor, friend, and family live tobacco-free. We focused on the needs of every Oklahoman, offering specialized services to meet their specific needs and their reason for quitting. That has been a very successful endeavor. Right now, Oklahoma is recognized as having one of the best helplines in the United States, and, and we're very proud of that. We're top in the country in reaching tobacco users who are seeking treatment. We are among the top helplines for the success of our quitters. And because we consistently invest in providing quality services, but we also challenge ourselves to move forward in innovations. As we celebrate 20 years, we take pride in our evolving resources, such as specialized youth services, and modernized outreach methods. And we share our success and research to push the field forward on a national level, all of which have contributed to the lowest adult smoking rate in state history. And we have transformed and saved thousands of lives statewide. The fact that it's offered free was one of the uh, determining factors, not just a, a, you know, a minor factor in my decision to, to call them. It was the factor. Having that support from the Oklahoma Tobacco Helpline was instrumental in my success to be able to quit smoking and continue long into the future not smoking. I would not have been able to afford nicotine replacement therapy without the helpline. It was crucial and vital to me quitting tobacco. If it wasn't for the Oklahoma Tobacco Helpline, I'd still be smoking cigarettes today. Join us in celebrating 20 years of life-changing and life-saving progress that has impacted every corner of our state.